Hello everybody, Paul Richards here with PTZ Optics and today I'm going to show you something really interesting. Live Facebook Live reactions. Uh, what are those? Well basically you can have emojis, you can prompt your live stream viewers to view emojis um, to, and bring in the live reporting to how many people like something, how many people uh, love something, how many people are sad, angry, oops, there's a bunch of different emojis that we can report on and bring that information into our live stream. Uh, so it's pretty cool stuff. Let's go ahead and show you what you need here. You need a Facebook account. You need a Facebook developer access token. You need the Facebook post ID and you need a server. Now I'm not going to show you how to do a lot of this stuff because I have a video below that really digs into it. In fact, it should be in the cards up here and it also is in the description below. So I'm just going to show you how to pull it into XSplit and if you're interested in learning more, uh, sh all the information on how we did it and the download you need to do it all uh, is going to be in the description below. So basically what we're doing is we're creating a web page that interacts with our live stream pulls the information and displays it live. Um, so the picture behind me here, um, that's XSplit, okay? Oh, sorry, that's not XSplit. Let's, let's pull XSplit up here. Actually, I'll just pull it full screen here. Here's XSplit, okay? So what XSplit's doing is it's pulling in um, a video feed and what one of the things I have to do or I'm not, I mean, of course again I'm not gonna go over every little thing here but if I wanted to crop off maybe the top a little bit whoa way too much is that crop or is that stretch there what's your favorite connection perfect so that that would be kind of like what we're going after something along those lines I might crop crop the side a little bit too Whoop. I'm not the biggest fan of the cropping tool on XSplit because it just kind of jumps. But let's try like 15. There. So that is that is a web browser input. Actually, you know what? XSplit, I don't believe, has a web browser input either. As far as I know, I believe you actually have to do a screen capture. So you're going to need a... I don't know if you get more sources, you have to like pay more or something, but what would be ideal is a web browser input where you type in the web browser, it pulls it in the way OBS does. Um, not sure if it has that, so I'm just doing a desktop capture, or a, a windowing capture, so I've got a, a Google Chrome browser up that is displaying this, um, this input here. So, let's go ahead and show you just a little bit more information about how to set this up. And so basically, um, there's a couple different ways you can do this, and I'll show you the files involved. Uh, let's go back, 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 back here. These are the emojis, by the way: angry, haha, -ha, like, love, sad, shock, and I believe there's a couple more um, that Facebook is rolling out. So basically, these are HTML files, um, and I'm going to show you one in a second here. Let me just double check and make sure that I'm not exposing my stream key. Okay, good, I'm not. Um, this is the, the file. So if you go in here, you've got, I've got a couple different HTML files that I'll explain and some background files. So th this is the front of it. This is actually originally from GitHub. Here's the original source code. And um, you can type in the background URL here. So with the one we were just looking at, um, right here, this is the background image. What's your favorite video connection, USB 3 or HD SDI? So um, you can, instead of having a background uh, image, you can just have a green screen image and you can chroma key out the background and then just pull in the emoji counters, which is pretty cool. Um, so here are the emoji counters. You can add more if you'd like. And then all you need to add to make this work is your Facebook token, and your post ID. Those are the two things you need. Once you've added those two things, you can upload these files to your server, double check and make sure that your server is showing um, the image and then you can see this one's chroma keyed. So if I double click it, or what do you do? Right click and X, XSplit's not my native platform if you will. I know there's a way to chroma key that, so you chroma key it out and you can just overlay it on top of XSplit. Oh, is there like a 
second XSplit thing that's blocking me from opening it. Anyway, that's how that works. Um, so it's pretty straightforward. Um, so you can do, let's see, what are my, I have a couple different versions of this. I'll just show real quick. Um, I have my lower third version. So you can have like a lower third. Um, I have the version that I showed in the beginning, which is just with the background where you can just live stream this to YouTube and prompt people to, uh, this is some of this was really popular during the elections. Um, you know, Trump or Hillary and thousands, hundreds of thousands of people were doing it. And then the green screen background is a lot, allows you to just overlay the counters there, which is really nice. Uh, I don't believe that the zero will show up until like there's an actual like number. Uh, then the love one would show up there. Okay, so that's how it works. Um, all you want to do is live stream to YouTube or to Facebook. And then once the live stream has been created, you need to get the post ID. Once you get the post ID, you can go ahead and insert that into your, you have to insert it into the HTML, upload it to your new file, um, upload it into your new, uh, your server, and then make sure that you reload it into XSplit and then it will show up and you can use it as an extra scene in your, B, your XSplit uh, workflow. So hopefully that's helpful. There's a full description below. Sorry I didn't go into every single detail, but there's a, a much more detailed video below if you're interested in watching that as well. Thanks for watching everybody. Take care. Click to watch another exciting PTZ Optics video and don't forget to subscribe. Tune in Fridays at 11 a.m. Pacific, 2 p.m. Eastern to join our live show with new industry experts interviewed every week.